show you how you can use Canva to create some awesome mug designs. In the Canva search bar, I'll search for mug template. And you can see there are already a lot of options available which you can use and just change their colors and fonts or text. Customize them according to your need and use them for your mug. But I'll show you how to design it from scratch. So let's select the blank mug template. So this is your workspace and you can have a real-time preview of how your mug will look. I'm thinking to design a Mother's Day special mug. So let's begin searching with our first keyword, Mother. I'll choose graphics and there is a quick tip because we're designing a mug so I don't want any animations. So I'll set animations to static. This will filter out all the animated stickers and graphics. Now I'll choose drag and drop all the elements I like. Uh, so the very first step is you just need to see all the elements you are liking and put them on your workspace. We'll see what we want to use actually later and where to position them. So currently I'm just filtering all the elements I like. So yep, once you are satisfied with the elements, let's just see which ones I want. So um okay, can use this one and I can use this one. I'm not overfilling my mug with the designs or stickers. I like it simple resize them position them wherever you want and yeah so for the background i am not liking it very plain so there is a hack search for any flower vectors you just need the outlines something like um This is perfect. So what you need to do is make it big to fill the complete space. Now what you need to do is first of all position it back and change its color to something light so that it does not interfere with your main elements. I will keep its color light and not bright so you need a dim and light color yeah that's perfect so give so this gives it a very nice texture and a very elegant background and now for the text you have a lot of predefined font combinations you can choose for and for this mark i'll be using this already present font combination but I guess I don't require this birthday font so I'm good with this happy font and I will complete my text with that font only reposition it make it bigger if you want you can change its color I'll be choosing a darker shade of green to complement my other elements and that's it and we are done with the mug so you see how easy it was and like this you can create a lot of your own customized mugs and give them to your friends and families hi guys in this video i'll show you an easiest and fastest way to create t-shirt designs even if you're not a designer to design our t-shirts i will be using canva it is one of the most popular online tool for designers and creators and don't worry if you don't have a canva pro subscription as for this tutorial i will be using everything which is available in canva free version so just go to canva.com and search for t-shirt and in the suggestions you can find it and click on t-shirt you will land on a page where you can see there are a lot of 
pre-designed templates you can use for your t-shirts you can filter them out based on the style theme and price so i'll be showing you how to create a design from scratch so click on create a blank t-shirt this is your canva design editor and this is your side panel where you can find templates elements and all of this so yeah um as the holiday season is around so i'm thinking to create a t-shirt design for christmas so let's search for santa and there is a quick tip you need to filter out all the animated stickers as we are designing a t-shirt so i don't want any animations uh just click on whatever you are liking and we can filter them out later which things we need to keep and which not okay i like this text so you see uh, whenever i'm selecting some element i am getting these magic recommendations these are basically things similar to what we are looking for so it makes your search really easier and i'll be keeping my t-shirt design very simple so when you are happy with the elements you can just reposition them with the help of the guidelines which appear as soon as you click on some element and yeah you are good to go i'll just download this image now if you are a pro user i'll suggest you to download your image with transparent background and size as much large as possible so that when you are printing your t-shirts your design does not get pixelated but if you are a canva free version user no worries um, if you want your t-shirts to be in white color then leave your background in white color and if you want to print them in some other color just make sure you change the background of your image in the similar color for example if i want my t-shirt to be in black color i'll change the background of the image in black color and download it now if you want to see how your design will look on a t-shirt you can use smart mockups go to the first link and you can um, sign in using your gmail account and just upload your image and after your image is uploaded you just need to select your t-shirt mockup and so you see now you are able to see your design on the t-shirt you can customize it you can change the t-shirt color as i wanted it in a black color so i can change it to black so now you see there are no border lines here so this was a quick hack for canva free version users if you want your t-shirt to be in white color you can change the background of this image in white color and save it and follow the similar procedure for white color t-shirt this tutorial i'll show you how you can create nfts using canva for free go to canva.com and if you are new to canva you can easily create a free account now to begin designing from custom size select width and height to 361 pixels and click on create new design so you can create different sizes of nft for this tutorial i'll stick to a square size this is your canva editor and this is your side panel where you can find all the editing tools almost everything you need to edit your pictures in canva you can find here to create your nft collection you need to have a basic idea like you can create an nft collection of girls wearing different outfits you can base it on some cartoon characters or you must have seen the very famous monkey nft where they are wearing different clothes and have different expressions so similarly i will choose my base as a peg so i'm searching for only a peg face because it gives me freedom to play with its outfits, headgears, eyewears and etc. So I can create a lot of NFTs with a single base element. Now the next thing you need to keep in mind is you need to select an element which is more editable. By that I mean, for example, this pig has four editable colors and this image has no editable color so this is not going to work we need to select something like this so that you can change the color of your base image and create variations in it so just to get started i'll fix my face size and duplicate it to the number of nfts you need for this tutorial i'll just restrict it to five images now to bring variations i'll change the colors of each image
Now my second layer of variation will be the background. So go to element search for background. And go to graphics and I like this one. And position it to back. You can either copy the same background to other images and just play with their colors or you can select different backgrounds for different images. And my third layer of variation will be the outfits. You can search for either a man or a woman outfits. Go to graphics and there you see there are a lot of images like these. You just need to resize them and position them backward. Now while repositioning, if you're facing such issue that your image is popping out, you can crop the image and you are done. So like this, I'll give different outfits to all the NFTs. You can also search for some occupations like doctor to get different outfits. Now my fourth layer of variation will be the extra elements I can give. For example, you can add some hats. You can add hair, you can add glasses. Also, if you want, you can give your NFTs a specific characteristic like spooky eyes. Like these. You can search for some occupational elements like a chef's cap. So with these four five variations and a good base element, you can create an N number of NFTs show you two ways to build your pixel art nft collection so without wasting any time let's quickly begin to begin designing we need a template of custom size of 631 pixels each so we can create nfts of various shapes but for this video i'll stick to a square shape so the very first way to create your pixel art nft collection is to use the canva elements itself so just go to elements and search for pixel Go to graphics and filter out all the animations and so you see there are a lot of already pre-designed pixel images which you can use to create your nfts so let's take this one increase its size so i'm increasing the size such that only the face and the above torso of the image is visible you can resize it the way you want now while resizing i guess i don't need this extra pixel block so i'll remove it to remove it what you need to do is search for a square crawl down till you find a perfect solid square yeah this works so basically i'll fit the squares okay so this has a border i'll change the border color to white so if you want to make alterations to this pixel you can do it or if you don't want it you can leave it as it is now I can create a lot of NFTs using this single base element. For example, I can change its color or you can add variation by adding elements to this image. So for adding the elements, I'll search for pixel again. And in the graphics, you can find a lot of elements. In the magic recommendation, you can see I'm getting a lot of eyewear options. So you can create variations using these. And similarly, you can use other elements too. I have already created one more video on NFTs in which I have explained how you can create thousands of NFTs using single base element with simple 4 to 5 variations. I'll post the link in the description below and you can also find it in the iCard above. Now the second way to create pixel art NFTs is to pixelate your normal image. So let me show you how you can do that in Canva itself. So I'll select my base element as a pair. Go to graphics and filter out all the animation. 
um i will recommend you to use an outlined image rather than going with a non outlined image because i feel after pixelating an outlined image looks better than a not outlined one although it completely depends upon you what you like and you can use both of them i'll tell you why this is so in just few minutes now to pixelate any image you just need to select the image click on edit image and search for pixel effect you can find pixelate app click on it and these are the various pixel variations it offers for creating the pixel art nft you need to select the pixel variation and you see your image is pixelated click on the settings to adjust the image pixels now there are two types of pixels horizontal pixels and vertical pixels if i increase the pixel count my image becomes clearer and if i decrease the pixel count it becomes blur so with lots of practice i have come up with this general rule that if you have expanded or resized your image a lot you need to have higher number of pixels and if you haven't expanded your image much you can work with low number of pixel counts second point there is no absolute value of pixel count you have to use hit and trial method to see what looks good with your image now coming back to this image when i pixelate this image so because i haven't resized this image much so i'll reduce the pixel count to bit lower values so 15 is also not bad i can still identify that it is a big face now you can either leave it like this or you can edit it to enhance its feature for example i'll select the solid square so this is not a square but we can definitely crop to make it a square the reason why i've chosen this is because i can change its color so i'll now change its color to black and replace both the eyes so now i'll change its color to the face color you can see in the photo colors you are having the recommendations so i'll choose this color so this is making the inner part look more circular similarly i'll correct the ears if you want you can go on customizing now one important point is that once you have pixelated your image you cannot change its base color so if you are planning to create multiple images with a single base image i will recommend you to first complete your base designs and then pixelate your image now to bring in variation similarly i can add some pixel elements like you can add either a pixel hat and if you are not finding one you can pixelate non pixelated hat too so similarly you can add lot of elements to your nft without being worried whether they are pixelated or not so you see how easy this was to create pixel art nft collection hi guys in this tutorial i'll show you how to create youtube channel art or youtube channel banners so channel art is the first thing that visitors see when they visit your channel so it's an important part of making a strong first impression you can also use channel art to convey key information about your channel including your upload schedule tagline social media accounts and more so before moving on to the designing part here are a few details we need to keep in mind the youtube crops the image differently depending upon the device you are on that is on tv it will show the whole image and on desktop it will be cropped and we can see only this much part on tablets we have different cropped area and so on so therefore we need to keep our maximum content and details in this text and logo safe area so everything inside this safe area will be visible on every device you can easily download this template from google you can search for youtube channel art size guide and download the image whichever looks similar and save it we will be using it later as a reference now let's move on to the designing part go to canva.com and if you are new to canva you can create a free account on canva and don't worry for this tutorial i will be using everything which is available in canva free version so it is reachable to almost all of you search for youtube channel art uh, in the suggestions you can find it 
So you will land on a page where you can see there are a lot of predefined channel arts which you can use for your channel. You can filter them based on style, theme and price. But I'll show you how to create everything from scratch. So select create a blank YouTube channel art. So this is your Canva design editor and this is your side panel where you can find different templates, elements and upload your own images. Use different photos, text, audios, videos, background and so on. So for this tutorial, I will be creating a very basic channel art to give you all your head start and also I'll make it generic so that everyone can use it. Um, so I'll go to elements and search for goal icon. You can also search for a boy icon. Um, I like this image. So you see when I clicked it, I got this magic recommendation which is basically the images of similar types. From these icons you can select a picture which you relate the most with um i guess i'll select this one and now i'll just put some text welcome to my channel So currently I am just putting everything I want in my channel art and we will later adjust it according to the reference guide. Like, comment and subscribe. And with this if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So now we will add a background. So for background I will go with some similar color palette so once we have all the elements we will use the reference image to position our elements correctly go to uploads and from upload media upload the reference image i have it right here I'll resize it and position it to back reduce its transparency to about 60 percent so now you will have an idea of where you need to place all your elements so i need everything in the safe zone so i'll reduce the size and position my text within the safe area i'll change the text font to something more fancy and yeah there you go so now i can remove this reference image and move further with my designing uh, to give my banner a more sophisticated look go to elements and search for lace pattern and we are looking for something like this although it is a lot busy pattern so i'll go for something like this one increase its size duplicate it position it to back now i'll change its color to a little darker shade of purple to just have a embossed feeling now download the image and once your image is downloaded go to your youtube channel studio and from the side panel go to customization there you will find branding in branding you can change your banner image click on change and select your downloaded image from here also you can customize your banner art you can see how will it be viewed on tv on desktop and viewed on all devices so you see all your content is on the safe zone you just need to click done so youtube takes some time to upload your banner image so don't worry if you cannot see it immediately give it some time and you will surely see it so once it is uploaded it will look something like this on your laptops and like this on your phone in this video i will show you how you can use canva to create social media story highlight covers so let's begin on the canva website search for highlight covers and you will see instagram story highlight cover select it you will land on a page where you can find multiple pre-designed options for highlight covers which you can choose from there are a lot of options you can customize them according to your needs but i'll show you how to create them from scratch so let's select the blank template this is your workspace and let me quickly create a template to showcase all the covers we will be making so i will give it a light background color and because all the highlights are shown in a circular
kill so I'll select a circular frame reposition it duplicate it then select both and duplicate both and do it once more yeah. I'll add a title change it font move it on the top and add highlight cover as well I'll change its font as well to something more fancier and position it so obviously there are a lot of highlight covers present you can choose from various options but in this video I'll be showing you three kinds of highlight covers which are feminine bohemian and abstract so let's begin with our first highlight cover I'll duplicate this page and delete all the elements a quick tip because all the highlight covers are seen in circles so for reference I'll put a circle here and position it in the center so move it till you see these cross lines and I'll reduce the transparency so this will be your reference line for me all my main elements should be inside this circle as only the portion inside this circle will be seen so for my very first highlight cover I'm designing it or giving it some abstract elements so let's search for abstract and see what all graphics we have in it because we are designing a highlight cover so I don't need any animations so I'll set animation to static to filter out all the animated stickers now pick and drop all the things all the elements and stickers you like I guess I have enough of them you just need to position them one by one uh, while positioning just make sure you are keeping everything inside the circle can overlap the images rotate them make them look they belong to each other uh, just make sure there is no single sticker which is covered by all other stickers so there should be a mixture of overlap so we'll move it a bit forward to get them at the front So to complete it, I'll put some face lines over it. I guess this seems perfect. I'll resize it according to the circle, making sure it's neither too big nor too small and change its color to black. So now we'll just remove this circle. So the next highlight cover, I'll design it to be very feminine. So. I'll take my star element to be flowers and one by one keep selecting all the images I like so I like this one this one and I'll search for some watercolor graphics and select whatever I'm liking mix and match there are no hard and fast rules where to place what just keep playing and innovating with your ideas i'll change its color to something light and shade yep this seems fine now let's move on to our third highlight cover i'm deleting all of this and now let's try something bohemian so let's search for the keyword dream catcher drag and drop wherever you like there is a similar process um, filter out animations and once you are happy with the elements you are satisfied with what will go 
you just need to reposition them the way you want make it bigger and change its color a uh, darker shade of brown will work for this one and i'll change the background color to a bit lighter shade i'll add a pattern to a the background it seems good resize it position it and change its color if you want to and this is also done i'll duplicate this page and let's move on to our fourth highlight cover let's try to mix and match some patterns so let's search for a mandala okay like this one i'll make it almost equivalent to the circle i'll remove this circle for this one as this mandala will give me an idea of the center already now let's search for a fashionista I like this one and um uh, I guess one is good to go with. I'll resize it and just give it a nice text. And there you go, the fourth highlight cover is also ready. Okay, now I'll download all these images. This will download a zip file. Extract all the images from the zip file and upload them to your media. And so I have uploaded all my four images that we have just made, and I'll place them one by one in this template. So I'll be placing the feminine one and then the bohemian. So for our last two highlight covers, there's a quick hack for beginners. Just search for the keyword abstract. set animation to static and just search for some cool abstract images like this one and just try placing them in these circles so you will get an idea of how will they look on the highlight cover there are a lot of options you can find from like this one also and similarly you can see there are already a lot of predefined images and graphics and stickers that you can use for your highlights if you are storing some mails and messages as your highlight then you can put some already designed patterns and so our highlight covers are ready you see how easy it was you can use them for your instagram and other social media platforms do let me know how you like it and see you in another video bye hi guys in this canva tutorial i'll show you how you can create insta grid puzzles or insta infinity posts you might have seen these days these posts are really trending like there are a series of photos that you post separately on instagram so it becomes one large interesting and fun collage so here are a few details about instagram feed which we need to keep in mind while designing firstly whatever we post is shown in square frame on the feed so that even if we are posting a rectangular photo its cropped square version will be seen on the feed and secondly the number of columns in ig feed is fixed to 3 that is in a single row we can only see 3 photos in this tutorial i'll show you how to create a 3 cross 5 grid which is the maximum grid size on an instagram feed go to canva.com and search for instagram story to get the maximum feed size select create a blank instagram story this is your canva editor in side panel search for grid in the element uh, you see there are a lot of grids given but we need to search for a 3 by 3 square grid uh keep scrolling until you find the perfect one so you see we don't need something like this as these are not the perfect squares we need something like this these are exact nine squares which is a 3 cross 3 grid select it and now just adjust it so that the width and height is equal you see here we are seeing the width and height and both are now equal to 1080 
duplicate it and paste it below so you see now here a form of a grid is created which is three by five and few extra squares below but we don't need them so i'll search for a line to mark my play area uh, you can paste the line here and now i can remove all of these so basically this was for me to get an idea where i need to put all my images and elements i don't want to cross this line as everything below this line will not be visible in my grid to give your post a seamless continuity i'll recommend you to have some patterned background so let me search for pattern and look what we like Mm, yeah i like this one you can either duplicate it or enlarge the single image to fit your background so as the holiday season is near i'm thinking to design a travel mode board so let's search for travel and i'll select all the pictures i'm liking so these pictures will be my reference pictures i'll replace these pictures with my actual pictures whenever i want to upload them on instagram but yeah for reference purpose i will be using these pictures for this tutorial select a combination of different size of images and place them one by one i'm trying to incorporate different sizes of images for this tutorial so that when you are using your actual photos you don't find it difficult to fit them i'll paste every image in a zigzag order so yeah once you have placed all your photos in the manner you like we can edit them further also one more thing don't go below this reference line as everything below this reference line will not be shown in your feed now to make each of your image more interesting select it and go to effects you can see there are a lot of frames available and select any of the frame you like so similarly you can do it for all the images select different frames so now the image borders are done to make it look more fancy and interesting i'll search for some travel elements keep selecting the elements you are liking and once you are satisfied with the number of elements you can reposition them so while repositioning i'm trying to fill the spaces and make these photos look more connecting i mean it's appealing like i like them this way you might like them in another way so whatever suits you best just do it there is no hard and fast rule where to place an element just just be creative and do what feels right to you so i've placed all my elements to the positions i like and now it's time to put some text so from side panel go to text and you can see there are a lot of predefined designs to choose from okay i like this one and we can write time to travel and apart from this you can add more like good vibes yes this suits it as well yeah perfect so now all my texts are also in place if you want you can add more but i'm good with these so yeah the designing is complete now i'll just download my image so now all we need is to split our large design graphic into smaller squares to post them individually on instagram there are a lot of Instagram image splitters available online. You can choose any one. For this tutorial, I will be using free Instagram image splitter. Just upload your image. You can select and drag. And once your image is uploaded, reposition the selector. Now we need to select the number of columns and rows. As we know in the Instagram feed, we can only have three columns. So I'll set it to three and rows to five as we were designing three cross five instagram puzzle yep perfect so you see this comes inside our reference line so everything below this reference line will not be used and so our images are ready to be downloaded so there are a few steps given on how we can easily post these on instagram the zip file which will be downloaded will contain all the sliced parts of our image arranged in a numerical order to make sure your image is displayed correctly on Instagram, you should post each photo in order from least to greatest as shown on the image. That means we need to download our images in order 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So I'll download the images and extract all the images from the zip file. So I have a collection of 15 images numbered from 1 to 50 and I need to post them one by one starting with number 1 then 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till 15. 
So you see how easy it was. There are a few things you need to keep in mind and follow this tutorial step by step. And with practice, you will be able to create these grid posts in minutes.